Stay back, all of you, or this whole place blows. Ted. You too, most of all. I trusted you, and what'd you do? Huh? You sent someone in after me. No, no, Ted, no, I didn't. He, he didn't listen. I didn't even know this was Shut going up. on, really. Hey, Ted, listen to me. Listen to me and look at me. No one here wants to hurt you. Yes, you do. All of you. That's all you've ever done to me. Haven't I tried to help you? Haven't I been your friend? I thought so until now. Ted, we've had a lot of good sessions. We've made progress. We can keep on doing it. No, that. I know what you're up to. You're trying to weaken my line of defense, so I'll surrender and you'll all win. Back off! I was right. See, they're all working for you. They're following your orders. And I'm ordering you, soldier. Put that grenade down and you let her go. I'm not letting you kill anyone. Where are they? Fine. Buckle up. Oh. It's just a short hop, but there's weather. What do you mean it's just a short hop? We are going to Port Charles, right? We are. Well? As good as can be expected. So we start treatment right now, then? You know the deal. Not until Eve calls from Port Charles. I don't trust him to take you back to Port Charles safely. We need to come up with some kind of some kind of code so I know that you're okay. Okay, now that assumes that I'm going, which I'm not. Some um, some kind of word that I, I only would understand. You can't make me leave you. What about that uh, that drink you had at Jake's Kamikaze? Perfect. Uh huh. You remember what happened to me at Jake's when I had that Kamikaze? I fell right off the bar. And do you remember that I caught you? I was there for you, and I will be there for you now. But you have to follow the plan. I hate this. I hate this so much. But you will call me as soon as you get back to Port Charles and you're safe. Uh, thinking about Dr. Lambert? She'll be delivered home, as promised, into the arms of her husband. Where she belongs. If only you meant that. I do mean that. And I know better. You're in love with her. It's a pity she'll never know. I know you, Ted. I know what you want. You want respect. But these people don't respect you. They fear you. Is that what you want? Does that make you feel good? Shut up. Just shut up! Fear is not the same thing as respect, but you know that. You saw action. You know what fear is. And you're feeling it right now yourself. Are you calling me a coward? No. No. You were a good soldier in the Gulf. You were brave, and you made sacrifices. They lied to me about the chemicals. They didn't care if I died or not. But these aren't the people who lied to you, Ted. You're scaring a room full of people who never did a thing to you. They all just want it to be over. Yeah, that's true. Because you know what? I can make this all over real quick. Huh? But what will that accomplish? What good will that do, Ted? I don't care. I don't have anything left anyway. You have your life to live. Some life. I got fired last week because I'm sick all the time. And I had to take too many days off work. And my wife, she walked. She took off last night, so what kind of life I got left to live for? I lost my wife, too. And I didn't care if I lived or not. But you know what? Other people did. And someone made me see that. She made me understand how many people would be hurt if I just gave up. And I couldn't do that. To her, most of all. You haven't hurt anyone yet, Ted. You can still come back. You haven't crossed that line. You can come back, and you can find the good that's left in your life. I don't like know. I did. I don't know if there is any. There is. And 
I can help you find it. Let her go. She's a good woman. She's the one who helped me. Let me be the one to help you. Please, Ted. Let her go. Just let her go. And give me that grenade. Roger. Copy. Over. Weather is lifting. She'll be cleared for takeoff soon. You're forgetting something. I'm not gonna let you get hurt. I'll get you into this, I'll get you out. I believe you. I wonder if I'll be able to get any rest tonight. Well, I might as well try. <sighs> okay. Now what? Okay. Before Harris's men grabbed us when we were in your car. Mm -hmm. You said that you had something to tell me, something that was important. That was a long time ago. What was it? What were you going to say? It's a computer disk with all of Rachel's research on it. I thought you should have it. That night at the recovery room, when I went outside to ask you why you were leaving, I had a feeling that you were just about to tell me. I did tell you. I was leaving to find a new life for myself, a new beginning with new challenges. And you were going to tell me the real reason. What's the real that's reason? That's it! It's a wee bit cold over here. Okay. Maybe that's because you drank a whole glass of rat poison. Oh, anything to save your life. Here, scoot over. Come on. For what? Give you something to really complain about. All right? I need you. I'll let you know a little secret, okay? Finding out that I'm not so good without you. Damn it! <laughs> Ian, you never let me say the last word before. <laughs> Why are you doing it now? Will you stop yelling at me, woman, please? This isn't real. Yeah. Ian. I want you to have it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I don't have anything for you. How about a dance? It's time to go home. You walk out here with that same arrogant Lambert attitude that drove me nuts in Port Charles, all right? Which one do I take? None, until I hear from Eve. At least I'll be cured and your precious Eve will be saved. It's a win-win situation for Eve and me anyway. I got what I wanted. You gave up everything for her. What did she do for you? She left. She did what I asked her to. And soon she'll be right where she belongs. Yes. Oh, he's right here. Eve. Yeah, it's me. Where are you? I'm back home. Are you all right? Is, is everything fine? Everything except for you still being there. Please don't. Just, uh, just tell me that you're safe. Don't worry about me, Ian. I'm here drinking a kamikaze in your honor. Kamikaze, huh? And hoping somehow, some way, you'll be able to get out of there. Yeah, time's up. Eve, I gotta go. 
Now you know she's okay. I kept my word. Your turn. Hmm. You really think I'm a miracle worker, don't you? What? There's no cure. You're lying. Your disease had progressed too far. There's a one in a million chance that I could save you. But let me tell you a little secret. Even if I could, I wouldn't. You let 13 innocent little children die just to watch me suffer. Now it's your turn. You're gonna die, murdering son of a bitch. Then you will too. So be it. Ted, just hand me the grenade. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. I won't let anything happen to you. You can trust me. I promise you. Police are coming, Garcia. I want him taken up to the psych ward. No chance. No, this man is my patient. He's allowed a 72 hour hold for evaluation. This guy's a dangerous nut, Collins. Give me that. He needs help, not jail. Garcia, Garcia. Legally, you can't keep him from treatment. Take him to psych. I want one of you guys outside his room round the clock. Here you go. Thank you. Are you guys all right? Yeah, no. For a minute there, I thought we had it. What a night. Must be a full moon or something. I'd like to ask you a few questions. How about you first? Yeah, sure. Dr. Dr. What about you? How are you holding up? I'm fine. The truth. I am. You don't have to be tough now. <laughs> oh, God, Joe. Well, I saw you and Frank going over there. It's okay. And then he saw you. Shh, it's okay. We're okay. We all are. This makes me realize how much I love you. I still can't figure out how the cops knew to get here so fast. Well, I tripped the silent alarm at the nurse's desk. When'd you do that? When no one was looking. I was just worried that the cops wouldn't get here in time. Oh, so... You're the big hero here. Well, I think the medal goes to Kevin. You were still pretty quick on your feet, though. You wait till Serena hears, I think she'll be impressed. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I know that I am. Dr. Seagrove to... I, uh... I really screwed up, didn't I? Well, your timing could have been a little better. Yeah, I need to work on that, don't I? Maybe make a New Year's resolution to do that. Oh, Doc, I really, I really thought he was going to kill me there. I wasn't going to let that happen. Do you need anything? Can I get you something? No, no, I, 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 I just, I don't want you to go. I won't. No. I was really, really scared. Maybe I'll die, but so will Eve. And I'm gonna have the pleasure of watching you go first. Not if I can help. Wait, it's me. Eve. Uh, shh, someone's gonna hear you. You're supposed to be in poor Charles. I couldn't let you die. Did you give him the treatment? There is no treatment. What? But I thought you said- I lied, there's no cure. Ian, what have you done? Hey. I thought you were safe. Let's get out of here. Come on. He's not wrong. Now you're both gonna die. Go ahead, try to run. My men are all around you. We'll get 20 feet without getting shot. There's no way out of this. For any of us. There is. There's one way. You and I had a deal. One that we didn't consummate. It's not too late. Eve, no. Oh, Ian! Oh. You move. 
I don't fence. I'll teach you. No. Hmm. and you're watching SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. So where's this helicopter? Come on, let's go. Oh, Doc, come here. C come here a minute. What? Have you ever seen the stars look more beautiful than they do tonight, have you? No. I'm so grateful I can see those stars tonight. And, uh, mm, I'm so grateful I can breathe that crisp, cold air. And most of all, I'm, I'm grateful for you. Doc, you saved me again. Well. I think if we're going to count the times we've saved each other's life, we should do it inside where it's warm. Unless, um... Unless what? You want me to take you home. Uh-uh. Well, then come on in. Uh. I can't promise you much. I haven't been to the store, so I don't think I have any food here. get rid of this pilot anyway oh well I was sitting here waiting to take off when I thought you know what there has to be a way I could get us both back to Port Charles so I clocked him in the head with a wrench you did what yeah what am I gonna do with you hey I couldn't let you die for me okay I couldn't let's get out of here okay I just I, I thought of one thing though what's that I sure hope you know how to fly this thing because I sure as hell don't how do you think I'd have run the bush all these years? Oh, thank God. Might be a good idea. Okay. Okay. Do you really think this is gonna help? Could hurt. Okay. What do you say? We'll get some room between us and them. The sooner the better. Put your headphones on. No! Stop them! They're getting away! You did it! You really did it! <laughs> Eve, get down! What? What? Oh my god! You alright? Yeah! Are you okay? Yeah. What's going on? I think they hit the fuel line. Oh god, that's not good! I gotta try and ditch this stuff. Don't just try and do it! Stop being so bossy for once! We're in trouble. A little bit. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. I think we should make the most of the evening just the way it is. Just you and me. You don't think that I love you? Oh. Oh, God. Admit it. The day is never complete without your daily dose of Erica Kane and all my children. Eventually, Erica will settle down and find someone special again. But is it today? You're going to have to watch and find out. Luckily, All My Children is coming up next here on SoapNet.